Glory be to God in the highest. I greet you all, the children of the living God, this morning. I pray that the Lord God will visit each one of us as we come onto the altar of God this morning to pray before the Lord. Devotion, as I've told you, should be, should be something holy. A devotion should be something done with sincere heart. A devotion should be something that we, as the children of God, as we come before God, we are sanctified, knowing that from the lips which are ungodly, that is, that is filthy, God may not hear us. That is why as you come to the, to the altar, you must plead the blood of Jesus Christ. For under that blood are we justified to ask, to decree, and to take whatever belongs unto us in the presence of God without any opposition from the accuser of men, who is our brethren, accusing us day and night in the presence of God. Let us begin to appreciate God for this morning. The Lord that has made us to see yet another new day, the Lord that has preserved us, the Lord that has strengthened us, the Lord that has made us a living witness and a living power of God's, of God's, God's revelation. Let us begin to appreciate God for today. Thank Him because today you are alive. Today you stand as a victor to, end, to, uh, to receive more victory. Even today, begin to appreciate God, begin to thank Him, thank Him, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord Jesus, Jesus, we magnify your name. We thank you for today. We thank you, Father, because you have sustained us. We thank you, Lord, because you have filled us with thy spirit to stand again in victory. Oh, to see yet another new day. We appreciate you. We love your name. We adore you. We say, blessed, blessed be unto your name. We say, adoration be unto your name. Begin to appreciate that God because in appreciation, you are able to take more from him. Oh, my shentereke, my isentari. Oh, begin to say thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank him over your loved one. Thank you for what the peace he has given to you. Thank him because he has calmed your storm. Thank him because you call upon his holy name, even at the time of need, and is able to hear us. Let us begin to appreciate him for he's our present helper at the time of need. Begin to appreciate him for being there for us at all times. The Lord that has never failed us, appreciate the Lord, appreciate Him, honor His name. Reham Hasentarika, Yereke Ma Ishi Kentarika, Yeke Hariham Maraka Senta, Harika Ma Yeke Shikantara. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we magnify Your name. Oh, hallow be Thy name in Jesus' name. I want you, as the children of God, to come before Him. Oh, and begin to ask for forgiveness of sin. That no sin shall be able to end us from partaking uh, that which is our portion in the presence of God today we are in every of our petition shall be accepted in the eyes of the Lord and the presence of the Lord begin to ask for forgiveness of sin oh for every one of us we all have sin oh there is filthiness every of our righteousness is but a filthy garment that is there is no justification in any man oh because of that begin to confess your sin Rima asentarika yeke harika mayaka shinta we confess our sin before you, Lord. We ask, Father, for forgiveness of sin. We are in, Father, Lord, we are your children have fail in one way or the other. We are in, we've not been holy. For you say, be ye holy as thy Father has been holy. Oh, Lord, pardon us in all that we have we have done, Father. Oh, Lord, forgive us every of our shortcomings, oh, Lord. Oh, Mara Shente Reke Ma Isenta, Mari Arakashi Kentarika, Mara Ayeke Sente. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon Upon her. Oh, begin to plead for mercy. For mercy prevail over judgment. Oh, Marashantarika, Yeke. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon her. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon her. In we are in, we have not stand as the true sons of you, our God. In we are in, Father, Lord, which you, your children, oh, has fallen one way or the other. Oh, Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord Jesus, Jesus will magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. I, and I want you again, I want you to begin to ask for the 
infilling and the outpouring of the spirit it is very important the spirit of god must fill you up that your spirit will dominate your will, will be able to 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 dominate to lead you that you as a child of god you shall be you shall be led by the spirit it is those who are led by the spirit of god oh they are the sons of god you must be filled with the spirit of god that he will be able to lead you that he will be able to lead you into what is right and be able to to develop Deviate you from that which is wrong, the infilling and the outpouring of the spirit, and fill yourself with the outpouring of the spirit. That your mortal body should be, should be, should be, should not go into sin. That the Lord will subdue every flesh in you. That is the Lord will subdue every lust in you. Reama sentarika ara mashenta mayeke shintarika yaka mahisente omara ayaka. We ask for the outpouring and the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit begin to fill us with fire, with power. In the name of Jesus, we ask for fresh fire, the fresh fire, the fresh anointing upon us in our inner spirit. Oh, ye came Mahashi Kentarika, that we be alive unto you, our God, that when you call us, we shall know, that when we move, oh, you, you move, you are leading us, we shall know. Oh, Father, by your spirit, quicken us today, make us to be alive unto you. Our Mashantarika Yeke Ari Maraka Santa Mari Arakashi Kanta feel us O Lord in the name of Jesus even by the by the, by by your very presence O Lord O Lord Father feel us in the name of Jesus in might and in power oh to be called to be able to overcome even today and the evils of today Father we thank you Lord Jesus we magnify your name in Jesus name we pray Amen appreciate God with a beautiful song, a one song. It is good to appreciate him in praise. Begin to appreciate God in a beautiful song you can know. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the children of the living God this morning, I want you to know that God is on our side each day. Because on each day, he wants us to continue in victory. On each day, he wants the devil to always be subdued before us, that by no means shall we be subdued by him, but by but we subdue him through the power of God in us. As, as the children of God, let's quickly look in into the book. I will not be able to read it, but I will bring us into it. That is for Samuel. Maybe you have to read it later. For Samuel 30. This is when, when the, 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 uh, David went with the Philistine eh, and he, to, to war. Let's quickly read a little of it. And David and his men reached Ziglar in the third day. Now the Amalekai raided, raided Neg, Negville and Ziglar. They attacked Ziglar and burned it. This is we are talking about when Moses, uh, David went with the Philistine to war and they decided to send him back knowing that it's a danger for them to carry David along with his men because they could turn against them because they are Israel and they are going to fight the battle against the, the Israelite. So they have to let him go back. But before he comes, already the, the enemies has invaded Ziglag. It's the place where, where David stayed with his men and they have carried, they have they have carried both old and young. They did not kill any one of them, but they carried them away as captive. And that is the work of the devil, holding people captive and in bondage. And if God has set us free, nobody is supposed to hold us captive. And, most, and David encouraged himself. He encouraged himself in the Lord. And he asked of the Lord, should I, should I pursue them? And if I pursue them, will I be able to overtake them? And if I overtake them, will I be able to possess? These are three things to they pursue. Many of us we are pursuing, we never overtake. It's because we have not asked. 
Asking is important. That is the meaning of morning devotion. We must ask from time to time for what we need for our days. So, Mo David pursue. In pursuing, God helped him. And when God helped him, what happened? Children of God, when enemy invade into your life, it is written. They must be, it is part of the plan of God. Enemies must mis make mistakes. Because devil is prone to mistake. That's one thing I want you to know about devil. He's prone to mistake. He has no perfection in him. He, he can't perfect anything. Devil is not, no, is not all knowing. This is the reason why he makes mistakes. He's not no all knowing. He doesn't know from beginning to the end of situation. He just comes in and he attack. Devil is absent minded. He forgets things. That is why he's prone to mistake. Because he forgets the past. And devil also is a liar. Because he's master of liar. That means it's another mistake. And because of that, we don't need to fear, fear when things happen on our side. What we need to do is seek God. Seek for the strength of God. Seek for the power of God. Is something troubling you at work? Go on your knee. Seek God. Ask the power of God to intercede for you. Ask the power of God to inter intervene for you. Your enemies must mis make mistakes for you to pick up. Your enemies mu must make mistakes for you to possess back your possession. Is anybody that is that is against you? God has already because that person against you is filled with the spirit of the of the evil one. He must make mistake. He, and in making mistake, he will fall while you rise in the mighty name of Jesus. So what are we saying as the children of God? When we quickly look at 1 Samuel 30, 13, 14, 13 to 14. You know, as they were processing and pursuing them. Something happened. The mistake the enemy made. A servant fell sick and they dropped him on the way. They dropped him on the way. And this led to David to be able to connect to the enemies. And he was able to capture the enemy and take what they have taken from him. He possessed them even with spoil. That is not only what he has taken. There is the God say, if enemy will rob you, he's going to restore back to you sevenfold. So it's a mistake that the devil rob you in the first place. If any devil rob you, it's a big mistake for ever robbing you. Because when he's restoring it back and returning it back, he's going to pay sevenfold. So what are we say? Who is losing and who is having the gain? As the children of God, I want us to pray today. We are targeting, targeting our 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 prayer points on mistakes. That is, the enemies to make mistake that will cause your promotion. That the enemy will make a mistake that we that we announce that you serve a living God. I want you to say because we are going into prayer. Let us not be too long on it. Is there anybody that has been attacking you from home in your place of work? They are everywhere. It is time for them to make mistake, costly mistake, that will give you a room for expansion, costly mistake that will give you a room to possess that which they have been hindering you from possessing. So I want you to say, God, oh Lord, let my. I want you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon your spirit, upon your soul, that you will pray today and in your prayer. Anything that has been that has been disturbing you, they are going to enter into costly mistake. It's either to end their, to cause them to end up in the grave, or cause them to be demoted while you rise in any form God wants to operate in your life. Today, he will operate as you pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to say, Lord, let my enemies make the mistake that will send them into an early grave hmm, and cause my joy to appear that I may testify. 
This is the first number prayer. Oh Lord, Father, I want you to begin to pray. I plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your spirit, upon your tongue. Dip your tongue into the blood of Jesus Christ that every decree you are going to decree oh, shall be established in the name of Jesus. Oh, Mary, Saint Eric, Maashi, Kentarika. I want you to say, Lord, let my enemies make the mistake that will send them into an early grave and cause my joy to appear and that I may testify of your goodness in the land of the living. Oh, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Enemy does not want you to testify of the goodness of God in the living, in the land of the living. You have come to America, they just want you to toil and toil and toil and when you toil, you come back to meet them empty and day. That is what the enemies are planning. It won't happen. They will, be, they will fall into that mistake. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, let my enemies, oh, make, make the mistake that will send them into an early grave and cause my joy to appear that I may testify, oh, of your goodness in the land of the living. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, any mess of my life, oh, begin to make that costly mistake that will send you into the holy grave, oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, and by the reason of it, my joy will appear in the name of Jesus, and I will testify of the goodness of God in the land of the living, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, let every celebration of the enemies over my life, oh, turn to sorrow, oh, Father, let them make that mistake, oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every, every celebration of the enemies over my life, oh, to turn to sorrow. Oh, when you're celebrating, the celebration of enemy turn to sorrow. That means you are no longer in that level they want you to be. You are no longer in that level. You have been encouraged by the God to move forward. And you have moved forward and you are possessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Mara Shente Reke Mahi Senta, Mara Akashi Kanta. I want you to say, oh, Lord, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I signed helpers because that person that that was dropped on the way. It was an helper to, to David to lead him to where the enemy's camp are. We are is able to, 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 to bombard them, arrest them, and take back his portion with, with addition. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I want you to say, Oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus, uh, assign helper unto my path. Yes, I move in the name of Jesus, assign helper unto my path to lead me to success, to lead me to recovery in the mighty name. Name of Jesus, oh my shente reke, my asi kenta. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Spirit, give me the strength to pursue, to pursue my enemy, oh Father, and be able to overtake them and to possess every of my possession which they have taken. Give me that strength and power, oh yes, and render the enemies powerless before me, oh that I will conquer them, oh in victory in the name of Jesus, oh my shente reke, oh. This will give me the power, oh, to pursue my enemy, oh, Father, oh, to pursue and overtake them, to recover everything stolen, oh, even in, in sevenfold, oh, my shente reke, my center, Holy Spirit, we thank you, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Every journey that I may take, that will permit the enemies to invade into my life, because they will took that journey, that is why they are able to come into his, into his, into his land, to take, to take what belongs unto him, Every journey that I may take, oh, that we allow the enemies to invade into my life, oh, into 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 my home, into that into my place of comfort, oh, to 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 perform their evil 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 devices, oh Lord, let me not embark on that journey, Holy Spirit, let me not embark on that journey. In the name of Jesus, every journey that I may take, oh, that we allow the invasion of darkness and of the evil one, oh, to have dominion over my 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 domain. Main. Oh Lord, let me not embark on that journey in the name of Jesus. Let me not embark on that journey in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord Jesus, I will magnify your name. Oh, be that exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the children of God, you must always pray that God will make you stronger than your enemies at any time. That you will be taller than your enemies at any time. This is also part of, of the work God has always done for us. That that we may be able to overcome. Overcoming is important because Christ is coming. If you can't overcome here on earth, this is the test for you. Here to be able to gain your eternity. If you cannot overcome here on earth, then you cannot have the reward of eternity which Christ has said to you. 
to us that he has gone to prepare the mansion for us for us to gain eternity we must overcome and if you must overcome you will have to pray holy spirit another prayer say holy spirit empower me by your presence oh and cast upon me the anointing of the overcomer in the name of jesus that in any level the enemies come how we defeat them in every area they come how we conquer them oh marashente reiki marie araka center holy spirit release upon me oh the power of the overcomer by your very presence in me oh that in any enemy the enemies may in any arrow in any angle the enemies may attack how we overcome them how we defeat them in the name of jesus holy spirit we thank you in jesus name we pray there is another mistake devil has done he, 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 he by, by joseph he was sold into into slavery oh and not knowing they have arranged him to stay in the very place his life and his destiny is to be fulfilled oh lord the made the, 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 the mistake that the enemies will make oh that will position me into the fulfillment of my destiny oh let them begin to make it now now in the name of jesus oh yes in the name of jesus oh cause the enemy to make that mistake oh that will lead me to the fulfillment of my destiny in the mighty name of jesus through the power and the blood of jesus let that mistake be made in the name of jesus holy spirit we thank you lord jesus we magnify your name be that exalted in the name of jesus holy spirit glory be to your name in jesus name we pray there is another thing i want us to know as the children of the living god I want you to know God so much loves us and he does not want you to 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 be to be to be cast away in the presence of God. He wants us to be strengthened. Say fire, fire from the presence of God. Fall upon me that I will terrorize my enemy. You must carry fire to terrorize the enemy. If you are too lukewarm, they will handle you. They will molest you. Oh Lord, cry, cast upon me the fire. Oh Father, oh that will make me Father to be destroyers of my enemy. Cast that fire upon me. Ah that I will destroy the enemy, that they will not be able to stand before me all the days of my life. Turn me into fire. You must be a brand of fire. You must have fire in you. Fire like fire of God. Oh, begin to burn in me. In the name of Jesus, that no demon will be able to rubbish my life, or rubbish my career, or rubbish my destiny. Many career has been rubbish. Many destiny has been rubbish. Many marriage has been rubbish. Many evil has happened in diverse places because we are not fire cast fire upon me the fire of your presence holy spirit cast upon me that my my own lie will be a no-go area oh for the devil for his host that they will stay clear and the honor of your name shall be upon me oh yes in the name of jesus holy spirit we thank you in jesus name we pray amen we need the beauty of god as well i want you to know as you set off if god has cast his presence and beauty upon you. You will just see, we will just begin to receive. We are you never labor. We are you never think you 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 deserve that 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 favor. It will come to you. Holy Spirit, let the honor of your presence be upon me. That anyone that see me, oh Lord Father, shall shall begin to honor your name in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the honor of your name oh come upon me. Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, that men will see the honor of your name upon me. Oh yes, and begin to give honor unto me through the power of your name upon my life in the name of jesus oh my shente reiki yeka maha center glory be to god in jesus name we pray amen the lord is the lifter up of our heads he has come to lift up you lift, lift up your head from every valley oh lord lift up my head oh lord as the lifter up of my head begin to lift me up against power that is saying oh i will not reach the fulfillment of joy oh lift me up higher than there. Lift me up higher than there. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit lift me up. Oh, from hence for Father. Above power. That say I will not end it where. Above power. That I say I will not reach that, that fulfillment. That destiny place you have destiny for me. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want you to tell you that Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And if the Lord is coming back very soon, 
we need to be careful. We need to be careful. And being careful is having to encourage yourself in the law. David did this. He encouraged himself in the law. They are weeping. His men were weeping. They were about to stone him. But he encouraged himself in the Lord. He get it took power from the law. At this season, it's not the time for you to weep. If anything happens on your side, encourage yourself in the law. Take boldness to, to seek for strength in the Lord. And when you seek for strength in the law, the Lord will release it unto you. And he will cast that shame away from you as the children of God. God is calling you. And he's calling everyone to attention that we need to have him in, in, in our life. For without him, the Lord says, we can do nothing. The enemy will just molest you. See how they, 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 they carry what all, everything that belongs to, to, to David. Enemy will carry everything. They will empty the land and make it barren. They may turn it to wilderness, a fruitful place. They turn it to wilderness. That is why, as the children of God, we must not permit them in our domain. You have to encourage yourself in the law. Being encouraged, you're encouraging yourself in the law is power, power of victory. And when you are able to overcome, you will be able to also take your eternal joy in the presence of God. Have you received Christ? Have you not received Christ? If you have not received Christ, we need to pray together. Without Christ, we can't overcome those children, those evil people. They are there, day and night. Some of them, if they attack you in the day, they didn't get anything, they will come back to you in the night to rob you. You have to be strong. And the Lord will make us strong when we have his presence in all. So bow your heads and let us confess God as our Lord and our Savior, that he will come into your life if you have not received him. Say, Lord, I confess, pray this prayer with me. Lord, I confess my sin today before you. Oh, Lord, forgive me every of my sin. Blot away every of my unrighteousness. Oh, Lord, give me the garment of of, of righteousness. Oh Lord, that no devil father shall be able to take control over my life again. Holy Spirit, come and reign over my life. Come and take dominion. Put your mark upon me and count me worthy, even at the hand, Father, when you have come to take every one of your own. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we magnify your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. By that simple prayer, your life is transformed. Know that it is God that will be strength for you to conquer your enemy. Without God in you, you can't, you can't fight battle. As the children of God, let us know that God has ordained our enemies, the accuser of our brethren, to always be in mistake before us. Because we stand in the image of God, he will always have mistake. He can't, be, he can't have any perfection. We carry the perfection through the presence of God. And that perfection of Christ will open doors unknown for you. He will open ways unknown for you. And you will break forth. You will enter into great opportunity that will advance your course in this land. And in anything that you do, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. We shall be there. You need to overcome. You need to overcome. And as you overcome, you possess every good thing here on earth. And you take the eternal blessing even above in the name of Jesus. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Go and flourish in the name of Jesus. Go and overcome your enemies and take possession of all that belongs unto you in Jesus' name. Amen.